it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draught. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had done this, and when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ships so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' feet, knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him at the draught of the fishes which they had taken. And so was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all and followed him. May Lord bless the reading of his words. There were two ships owned by frustrated fishermen. They had fished all night and caught nothing. And then Jesus Christ decided to enter into one of the ships. Why did he choose the one of Simon Peter. I'm praying that tonight, as God visits us tonight, he will sing you out for a breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. They were so frustrated, they were washing their nets. They had tried everything all night. They had given up. I'm praying for somebody that is here tonight who is frustrated that you will have an encounter with God tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. And then he told Simon Peter that he should launch out. That's what we have done all night. <laughs> we didn't catch anything. In fact, this time that you want me to launch out is not the best time to catch fish. But he obeyed. Some of us, Part of our problems is disobedience to the heavenly call. I'm praying that tonight, when God speaks, may you hear him speak, and may you obey his voice in the mighty name of Jesus. Simon obeyed divine instruction, and he was blessed abundantly. The breakthrough was so huge, he had to call to his partners in the other ship. You know, some of us are blessed to be a blessing. I'm praying for you in your families, in your offices, wherever you might find yourself. May God so bless you that you become a blessing to others in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Simon knew when they caught the fishes that something was wrong. He bowed down. He said, I'm a sinner. Because what did this man do that I had done all night with my partners and we caught nothing? There was something extra about this man. Simon knew it was good to work for God because with divine partnership, the result is much more than what you expect. When you allow God to use your talent, to use your sheep, to use your intellect, then what God gives you back is much more than what you had given up. And I pray, may God find you to be a worthy vessel for his use in the mighty name of Jesus. Success in life is not by effort alone. If it were effort, they had tried everything, they had worked all night. At the end of the day, they didn't catch anything. Some people are very hardworking. You wake up very early, 
You sleep very late. And yet, you don't make sales in your shops. And yet, you have a friend. When you are up, she's sleeping. When you are still working, she has gone home. At the end of the month, when you are looking at how much each person has made, she had made four times your own sales. Sometimes she gets telephone calls in her house. And you are wondering, we that we are here, how come they are not calling us? Because sometimes uh, favor is not fair. God said he hated Esau and loved Jacob. Even before they were born, God hated Esau because God knows our end from the beginning. So when God wants to favor you, you just look as if you are the only superstar in your office. Anything they give you, you succeed. Others get it, they fail. But the things become easy for you. I'm praying for you from today. May God make you a superstar everywhere you go. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When you are a superstar, it means your star is shining. May your star shine in the mighty name of Jesus. But very interesting, after they had caught all these fish, there was plenty of money. Good business. Bible said, they forsook everything and followed it. This is what we have been trying to do all night, to make money. If you had caught one quarter of the sheep, you are okay. Now, two sheep are filled with fishes. And then, the man said to you, don't worry about the fish. From today, I will make you fisher of men. And they forsook everything and followed him. Not only Simon Peter, even his partners followed. Why? They had realized that when you partner with this type of man who is divine, you don't have to worry about fish. Some of you, you are so worried about fish, we lose heaven. I'm praying for you. That in your search to look for fish, may you not miss heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Because when you seek what is God's and what is divine, then the other things that you are chasing around are added as bonus, as jara. I'm praying for you. May God add those things that you are running after to you as jara in the mighty name of Jesus. So we're going to try and get some prayer points from our text tonight. Let us stand so we can pray. Our first prayer point in the 90s, we're going to pray and say, Father God, please single me out tonight for your divine visitation. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, Simon Peter and his partners had shipped all night. They caught nothing. They were frustrated fishermen. We're going to pray. Father God, please let tonight be an end to frustration and fruitless efforts in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ used the sheep of Simon Peter. And then he blessed him afterwards. There are many things we have in our lives that God wants to use. So we're going to pray and say, Father Lord, please use my talents. Use my intellect. Use my resources for thy glory in the mighty name of Jesus. And then Jesus Christ entered that ship. And those who had worked all night, who caught nothing, he turned their failures around. That they caught so many fishes, so much, that, they, that their, their nets broke. I'm going to pray tonight. Father God, please turn my failures into successes. And my delays to victory in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ told them, launch out into the deep. His favor made their labor to be fruitful. We're going to pray. Father God, let your favor cause my labor to be fruitful. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ told them, <laughs> follow me, I'll make you fishers of men. And they left the fish, physical fish. 
and they went after spiritual fish, which is better and more important. We're going to pray. Father God, please don't let my pursuit of earthly success make me lose focus on your business of soul winning. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When Jesus Christ called Simon Peter, he didn't go alone. His partners went with him. Oh Lord, we're going to pray. Oh Lord, oh Lord. please make me a blessing to my family, to my friends, to my partners, to my church. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible said Jesus Christ entered the ship of Simon Peter. We're going to pray. Oh Lord, oh Lord, please enter the ship of my life. Don't let me make a shipwreck of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, please enter the ship of my life. Let me not make a shipwreck of my life, of my faith. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, tonight, please single out your children for divine visitation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, tonight, please bring an end to frustration and fruitless efforts in the lives of your children. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, please use the talents, the intellect, and the resources of your children for their glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, turn failures in the lives of your children into successes in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray, Lord, that the delays that your children experience thus far shall not become deniers, but victory at last in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, please let your favor, oh, cause the labor of your children to be fruitful. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I pray that don't let the pursuit of earthly success make your children to lose focus on your own business of soul winning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, bless your children and make them to be a blessing to their families, to their friends, to their partners, to their churches, to their countries and their generations. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray, please, don't let your children make a shipwreck of their marriages, of their lives, of their businesses, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I commit all the prayer points of your children tonight into your hands, O Lord. Father, answer the prayer points by fire, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let testimonies of answered prayers start from tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus. All that they are asking you for, according to your will for your children. Father, let it come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Let their joy be full. Let their joy be full. Father, let their joy be full. Remove every hindrance between them and their breakthroughs in the mighty name of Jesus. Cause their destiny help us to locate them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, when other people are saying there's a casting down, let the songs in the mouth of your children be, there's a lifting up in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you and we bless you, Lord. For we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Welcome to TOD. 